Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. And today I am doing a review on the Selby Wave Bluetooth wireless headset. Really wasn't sure. I, I was hesitant to order the headset and now that I got it, I'm really pleased with it. I have to say it exceeded my expectations. Not the 100% perfect headset, but I think for the price point, I thought this really delivered a great punch from both uh, battery life to sound, call quality. A lot, a lot of positive things about this headset. I'll tell you right off the bat, and I'll go into more detail with you about that. And uh, came very quickly. Comes in a, a nice uh, package. Uh, comes with the micro USB cable, the instruction sheet, and then also the uh, earpieces. So depending upon your ear size, you can adjust accordingly. So you got the the bigger, the smaller, and the medium. And I ended up going to the uh, smaller size. Uh, for both the hook and the earpiece. Let me actually put them on just to show you. And by the way, the, the mic piece is actually the, the left side, not the right side, which if you're a righty like I am, it's not a big deal. I'm just getting used to it. And a lot of times I use my phone anyway to control, although you can use it from the, uh, the piece uh, here. So you can see uh, as far as wearing it, it's not too heavy. Uh, it's actually supposed to be in the downward position and you just can adjust the hook so then the hook actually just goes to the top part of the ear uh, while they stick out a little bit, uh, not too bad. So I just got to adjust the, the hook. Very easy to put on and off. Uh, and then also the earpiece as well. So now first, as far as uh, charging, and I'll go into more about wearing it and exercising and all that good stuff. But as far as charging, the initial time was very quick. It was only minutes, so really just a few minutes. Uh, for a full charge, it took about an hour. And this is where the charging port is. There's a door here. There's a little knobby that you actually pull. And let me just see if I can get that. They, they do make this a little bit difficult to open up. That would be one of the things I think the design, and this is what I worry is if, you know, if this falls off, you might get have trouble opening it up. So I will say that the design on that is a little bit of a challenge, but I've gotten used to it. And now, uh, let me see, now that I'm recording this, I'm struggling to get this open, but let me see if I can get it open just so you can see. So this should be able to open up. I might actually have to use my pen. There we go, I had to use my pen. And then this pops open. So. That would be the only thing you could see. It's got this like hook at the end that you'd have to pull and it looks like it may have actually pulled some of it off. So uh, just be aware of that. It's a little bit tough to, uh, you know, open up. Uh, but again, you got the port there. So, so that as far as the charging goes. Uh, then you have the uh, main button for connecting the Bluetooth for powering on and off right there and then the light is on top. Now when you're charging, it's a red light, which uh, is a solid red light, and then it's blue when it's done charging. And again, it charges very quickly. So as far as wearing, um, you know, I just felt like both wearing it around, using it to make calls for work, as, as well as working out, uh, comfortable. After a while, um, when I was making calls for work, um, it, it was a little bit irrit irritant to the ear, and I uh, would take it out and it was fine. So, uh, you know, just be aware, uh, again, maybe it's just adjusting to fit my ear size and maybe these, this, this may be too small, I don't know, but I felt like it fit a little bit more comfortable in my ear. I've, I've worn other Bluetooth headsets that are a bit more comfortable, but you know, it is, it's, it is manageable to wear for an extended period of time. As far as for when I was running and, and working out, I uh, found that I uh, didn't have any ear sweat getting into my ear and it was comfortable. They were staying in my ear with the hook definitely helps. Uh, and then this piece is, is not heavy so it's not really going to bounce around that much which is good. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's also got a, a nice light thin wire here. It's a matte finish, rubberized finish. One of the things that I have is this hook and then I'm going to put this on the back here so I can clip to the back of my shirt so then the microphone you know will stay in it and because sometimes these these type of headsets have a tendency to you know adjust so but by, by putting the hook on here that will help stay uh, and then as far as controls 
for music and calls, everything, again, you can do right here on the control. Obviously, you can do everything by your phone, but you've got your volume controls on the outer part. You could probably see there, it's got these little bumps that stick up. So you got your volumes there, uh, also your seeks uh, for seeking forward, backwards. You got your uh, play, pause, your answering, hanging up calls. Uh, with as far as volume with this, you would actually have to hold the button down for an, an extra second, and then it would be able to uh, um, you would adjust the volume accordingly. So, uh, and one of the other features which it does mention, by the way, which is the multiple equalizer. Uh, it says, which is the middle button, that you can adjust the uh, the equalizer for different sounds, um, but I couldn't get it to work. But still, I was, uh, and I'm going to talk uh, now about the uh, the sound here in a moment. Uh, first, I actually wanted to mention, by the way, with charging battery life, uh, it does have eight hours of uh, music, 10 plus hours of talk time, 250 hours of standby time, uh, and the battery life is very good. Uh, I got... Uh, you know, a good a good eight plus hours of, of talk time for sure. And then when the battery was getting low, it gave me an indicator. And then short time after that, the battery just went. And again, it's just a quick charge, a little over an hour. I've got an extra backup headset and I'm good to go. So as far as sound quality goes, first for calls, uh, one of the things that I really like about the headset is the fact that I'm able to hear people well and, and clear. It's a loud uh, sound in my ear, which is good because sometimes if I'm in my car uh, or I've used another headset that I was using to make a lot of my, my work calls with, I was struggling even at the highest volume with this, you are going to have a, a better experience as far as listening and hearing people. As far as uh, people telling me how I sound, I got a very positive feedback. People said I generally sounded good. A couple of people said I sounded a little muffled. One person said I sounded too loud. But what you'll be able to hear at the end of this video is an example of a voicemail I left in my car. So you'll get to hear background road noise uh, with the windows open, with music. So you'll get the whole experience there. As far as listening to music, uh, it's, it, it, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it uh, was great sounding. Uh, not the smoothest sounding Bluetooth headset but I was I think it's definitely up there for this price point on this headset uh, this headset definitely stepped up I really enjoyed the sound quality and the bass and it was certainly a loud headset so definitely stepped up there so all in all um, this is a, a great headset uh, for someone that doesn't want to spend a lot of money you know this co can compete with the higher level headsets. The one challenge, other challenge that I have besides trying to open up this door uh, and, and maybe a little bit on, uh, of uh, discomfort in the ear is uh, the Bluetooth connection. Uh, there were times where it was good and there were times where it was a challenge. Like here in my apartment, even on the other side of my monitor where my phone is here on my desk and I'd walk over there, it would start to like breaking up a little bit, so it's not too far away. But then at the same breath, I was at my gym, I put my phone down, I just said, all right, let me count steps, how far can I go before it would break up? And that was going about 25, 26 steps. So that will give you an idea there. Uh, but for the most part, I, you know, again, I'm pleased. Uh, it's not a perfect headset, but it's a very good one, a great price point. Uh, you've got good quality. Uh, you've got good uh, sound for music, and it's got very good battery life. Uh, and also connecting to the phone. It, you turn it on, it connects right away. You turn it off, it disconnects right away. And, uh, you know, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. I definitely uh, would recommend this. Not too heavy. Uh, and uh, it's a very functional, good Bluetooth wireless headset. Uh, definitely one of the better ones that I've had an opportunity to uh, use and try and this one is definitely a keeper uh, that I'll be using quite a bit my go-to Bluetooth headset now All right, everybody here is the example of the audio recorded from my car Also be sure to click on the link where you can get more information on the product order it and read other reviews Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Happy holidays I'm doing a test of the Bluetooth headset driving about 40 miles an hour in my car have the music off Got the music on, doing the test of the Bluetooth wireless headset.
doing about 50 miles an hour. Got the window open now. I'm driving with windows open. Now I am closing them. Again, the music is now off. It's on. This is a test of the Bluetooth wireless headset. Hopefully this part of the review is of help for your decision to purchase this headset.